Voodoo number five, written by Joshua Williamson, art by Sammy Bassery. We left off last issue with Voodoo once again escaping from Agent Fallon and gang, and also some dude who is a Damonite attacking some random guy for information. This issue picks up with a archaeological dig in the Midwest America. A couple guys just standing guard, not paying any attention. Voodoo comes in, slashes their throats, and just makes their way into the dig site. She monologues about, like, oh, they may not have deserved death on their own, but humans as a whole, they're, they're bad news. So she dives down into the dig site, and it's apparently a giant Daemonite battleship that crashed here forever ago, and it was actually what delivered her and the other Daemonite half-breeds, which is, I guess, what she is, uh, into onto Earth to complete their mission. So she goes towards it. It recognizes her presence, starts to boot up, and she's like, well, they're going to notice that pretty soon, so i got to move fast. So as soon as she enters, though, the guy who killed the guy from the last issue, the, da- like, the actual Daemonite, he shows up there, and he's like, hey, you're tough to find, but I knew you'd come here eventually, so hi, how's it going? And she... She tries reading his mind. His thoughts are kind of cloudy, but she lays on the voodoo charm, and he's like, ah, da, 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 da. I, I know what you're doing. I'm one of you. I'm a Daemonite, so no. And she's impressed for a moment there, but she's like, okay, well, cool. So my identity was compromised, but I got everything I needed, all the information on the Justice League, which is apparently what my mission was. So uh, I'm here to upload it, and then we're going to go. And basically basically he's just like okay yeah sounds good but i'm actually gonna kill you and she's like what what are you talking about we're 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 on the same side you're a traitor and she's like no 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 see you're a half breed and i'm a full blood i'm like a daemonite supremacist thing going on here and uh you're an abomination so we need to we need to kill you and voodoo's like all right well that's not gonna happen so she turns into her green skin formed and they start fighting uh, we go to a military base where Fallon's at. She's being released, I guess you could say, because of her anger problems that are le- getting in the way of uh, Voodoo being caught. She actually laments in here that she should have joined the Blackhawks. So call out to other books. But uh, apparently she was part of a team called the Black Razors before she joined into the FBI. And that's where she picked up a bunch of training. So anyway, Blackjack walks in and is like, you know, you were a badass member of the Black Razors and now you're just calling it quits? Psh, that's not the person I knew. And she's like, yeah, well, Voodoo got by you too. So what does that tell you about you? He's like, fair enough. And he blows up her box of all of her stuff. And he's just like, we let that alien get past us four times. What are we going to do about it? And she's like, nothing. I'm let go. What do you want? Unless. And then she immediately gets Blackjack in the car and is like, all right, we got to go. Right now. We're, we're in a rush. Cut back to the fight. Damonite's firing off some gunshots. And Voodoo slashes open his human skin sack, whatever you want to call it. Thus showing the big blue alien that was hidden inside. And basically she realizes that she she doesn't have the amount of power needed to defeat him, per se. So she needs to tap into his brain, use the telepathy, and get a weakness out of them so she really goes for it she dives in and she does this weird like mind meld thing going on where he gets some of her stuff and she gets some of his stuff we do happen to see grifter here along with the Stormwatch association being viewed from behind so maybe one of the members is a daemonite and then um a baby in a vat i don't know what that one is and then just some memories of the books that we've already seen so this link is broken and the daemon's like, whoa, okay, nobody should be able to do that. Not even a half-breed. What's going on here? And she's like, oh, but I did it. And now I'm in your head, and I know all your weakness. And, ah, okay, that took a lot of energy out of me. All right, I'm down. I'm out. And as the daemonite is about to uh, fire the gun at her to be like, you know, all right, this is what you filthy half-breeds get. She, she gets one last jump on him and literally bites his head off. And she's like, all right, well. That solves that. Time to complete my mission. So she walks over with the USB drive. It gets absorbed by the computer. She copies over all the files for Mission Wonder Woman, Mission Superman, Mission Batman, Green Lantern, and Cyborg. But then she sees off to the side one that's Mission Voodoo. 
And she's like, well, hold on now. What's this? And she checks it out. Uh, meanwhile, we cut back to uh, Fallon and Blackjack running into this underground facility as fast as they can because they're in some sort of rush because the prisoner is scheduled for execution and they're hoping they can get there before then. And both of them come to the realization or whatever that Voodoo is actually a clone and Fallon, like the military group, whatever, has the original or possibly one of the, possibly the clone. I don't know how we're going to play this, but has a version of Voodoo trapped underground and is, I guess, scheduled for execution. So Fallon says that's how they knew about aliens in the first place. So I don't, that's, that's a reveal. I didn't expect clones. That one caught me off guard. Gotta admit. Um, it's a good issue. I genuinely think it's a it's a solid thing. It establishes some more power for Voodoo. She's able to take on a full, um, full Daemonite. And, you know, Fallon gets the reveal of, oh, there's, she's actually a clone. I mean, clones, clones can be iffy. Clones can be tacky sometimes, especially in comics. But, I don't know. I'm liking this book enough, and I'm liking the mysteries it sets up. That I'm, I'm down to see where it goes from here. I'm down to see like, okay, what's up with the clone thing? Because we've more or less resolved all the other mysteries that Voodoo had going on for her. So now it's just a matter of, okay, now what's the clone thing about? And I'm down for it. So, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a seven. I think it's a good read. The art is fantastic. It's always been very well done. Um, yeah, no, not more to really say about it. Just continuing a already solid series that I frankly brushed under the rug when I first heard about it. So yeah, voodoo, who to thunk. <laughs>